I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I'm at the Bear Hill Unique area off of Canandaigua Lake in western New York. It's Sunday, September 10th, and it's the September VHF contest. Bear Hill is also a Parks on the Air and Summits on the Air reference. Let's go activate. All right, so there are two trails here at Bear Hill. There's a lower one, just got a nice view of the lake. I've done a poda there before. But then there's a higher trail, which goes to the activation zone for uh, Summits on the Air. We'll be using that, and we'll also be using my uh, ham wagon. We got that loaded up with gear, and uh, I've used that here before as well. Almost there. It's about a 20 minute or so uh, hike up. It's always more difficult going up than it is going down though. All right, we made it. Time to get set up now. Alright, we are all set up. Let's take a look at the station. So uh, first off, we're using the Soda Beam's Carbon 6 mast, and that is supporting a simple uh, 6 meter dipole made with speaker wire and a BNC uh, binding post. Also have the N9 SAB choke up on there. RG316 for the feed line, and there's just a couple stakes in the ground there and some of the rubber wire. Um, you can get a hardware store, usually in like the gardening section. Also, Night Eyes uh, sells sells it uh, branded as Gear Ties. Um, it's good stuff. Uh, then just a couple fence posts to tie them off. Uh, over here, let's see here we got the BTEC tri band that is on uh, 223.5, monitoring the uh, calling frequency. And there is a roll up J pole for uh, 1.25 meters up in the tree. We have the dual band elk log periodic antenna uh, that's set up horizontal for uh, SSB and FT8 on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Uh, it isn't hooked up yet, it goes up a little bit higher. It's on a speaker uh, stand uh, from Amazon that works out really well. Um, got a couple questions on that, might do a review on it uh, later. And then the station, we got the ICOM uh, 705. Uh, right now it's on FT8 for uh, 6 meters. You can see we're hearing and uh, getting signals. Got the uh, Jankopotamus Evolve uh, laptop and then the uh, Quirky QRP uh, uh, mat there. I wonder if this is the first Summits on the Air activation with the uh, Quirky QRP mat. We'll find out. But uh, let's get on the air. All right, just got a uh, fourth uh, contact on FT8. So technically we have activated the uh, Summit. Um, Got into uh, Canada, into Ontario, 10 watts, uh, 6 meter FT8. Very cool. CQ Poda, CQ Soda, CQ Contest. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air, Summits on the Air, and VHF Contest. CQ Poda, CQ Soda, CQ Contest. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo at Bear Hill off of Canandaigua Lake, standing by for any stations anywhere. Okay, so we're doing a 2 meter uh, FT8 right now. Got the first one in the log and we switched uh, coax so we're now using the elk uh, dual band log periodic all right we switched to uh, 70 centimeters got one in the log here as well uh, still using the uh, elk uh, for that that was fun we got 18 contacts in the log uh, that's more than enough to get the park in the summit activated a lot of it was digital on FT8, and I got FT8 contacts on 6 meters, 2 meters, and also 70 centimeters. I got a couple FM voice contacts on 2 meters, as well as one on 1.25 meter FM. 
definitely not a typical uh, poda or probably not even a typical soda activation especially with all the gear I brought but uh, I'm not your typical activator uh, I like doing this during the VHF contest because I think it's a great way to get out and just do new and different bands and modes things that you don't typically do when you do portable operations like poda or even soda uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun if you got a comment or question leave it down below and if you haven't yet please click like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Mike, N2MAK73.